Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello. 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 Uh, my name is Randy Plemons, and I'm running for McLean County Sheriff. As you know, our current sheriff, Larry Lynch, is retiring after uh, many years of service. I've currently served as his chief deputy for the last 11, almost 12 years. I've been at the McLean County Sheriff's Office for about 24 years. Um, I have a wife, Mary Plemons. She's a, uh, been married, uh, well, well, 21 years. I, mean, uh, sure. <laughs> I, had to get, I had to get that one right because uh, I was wrong one day. Uh, for 21 years, she is a registered nurse here in McLennan County and takes a very good care of people. Uh, we were married at St. Francis Church downtown, not too far from the police department. We now attend St. Louis Church. I uh, have a son, Roman, a daughter, Alicia. Uh, she's a senior this year. My son is in his second year, currently NCC, and debating whether or not he's going to be a tech raider or, a, uh, or um, well, okay. Uh, tech Raider, and my daughter's contemplating AM and right now, but don't tell my treasurer that because he gets a little upset when he hears about that. Uh, I was born and raised here in McLean County. Uh, my, I do have a background of family and law enforcement. My father uh, worked in the Sheriff's Office under Sheriff Maxey and Sheriff Harwell. Uh, my uncle is retired from DPS as Assistant Chief of the Criminal Law Enforcement Division for uh, DPS. Uh, graduated from Waco Christian High School, went on to MCC and worked in criminal justice. Graduated from the uh, Regional Police Academy. Currently hold my Master's Peace Officer's License by the State of Texas. Went on to the National Academy at the FBI and graduated from there, which is Quantico, Virginia. Went on to the Secret Service Dignitary Protection School in Bellsville, Maryland. And of course, I hold a variety of different management school certificates uh, under my belt as required by the state when you uh, are a peace officer. Um, I currently uh, am a T-Close instructor, which is the uh, what's required for you to be allowed to teach other peace officers. Uh, I'm also was your original uh, drug instructor for DARE here in McLennan County many, many years ago. And I'm also a crisis or hostage negotiator, whatever the, the correct term is now these days. My job as the chief deputy was to make sure that the overall mission is carried out for the sheriff, which is obviously to make sure assistance are protected throughout McLennan County. Part of that job is managing 370 employees and a 26, sometimes upwards to a $27 million budget, and a thousand bed hotel that we sometimes call a jail out there at Highway 6. In addition to that, uh, we have a variety of other management issues that go on on a, on a regular basis, and the budget is a daily management issue that we work with the commissioner's court on. One of the things that I would like to see done uh, as the sheriff of McLennan County is one, I believe that once renovations are done of the downtown jail, we should directly go back into the direct management and supervision of that facility. Uh, for one, I, I do believe that when the sheriff's office manages that facility, it is done <coughs> at a very professional standard level, and we should continue to do that. I also believe that we should uh, make that facility an all-female site. And the reason why, we have a lot of female inmates that are in our facility right now. This evening, we had somewhere around 160 females that are in our jail. And, uh, I mean, uh, you can have all kinds of reasons why. Everything from we have more females committing <coughs> felony-related offenses, they're staying in jail longer, they're not able to bond. But whatever the case is, they're in jail. And it's very, very important that, you know, that we make sure that we have a good plan for that. And because of our population at Highway 6 is not conducive to the amount of females when that facility was built, we need to probably look at uh, looking at uh, alternative you know, plans for doing that facility. That would be one thing. Obviously, we want to continue to have a very transparent and open sheriff's office. Uh, we want to make sure that we're uh, presenting budgets that are adequate and, uh, and meet the needs of the state when we present those to the commissioner's court. That's very, very important, especially when you're dealing with the amount of millions of dollars you deal with on a, on a regular basis. But of course, ultimately what's important is the public safety, making sure that we have the resources in place for the men and women that are out there every day protecting us, that they're able to do their jobs at a very professional level. And the only way to do that is to have those resources in, in place. Doc, when you were talking earlier about you know, the things going on in the border, I totally agree with you. I think my opponent said something about cutting off the head of the snake. I totally agree with that. But you know what? The head of that snake has got to be cut off at that border before it gets to where we're at now. Let's not be naive. 
some of those things do, do spill over in our communities, and it's very important that we aggressively attack those things. But the only way this is really going to stop is when both our government and the Mexican government decide to get together and fight this thing as a true war, not before all these heads, of, all these snakes, start having other snakes and work their ways into our communities. We've got to truly treat this thing as a war because make sure everybody understands this. This is all about one thing and one thing only down there, and it is money. There are billions with a B worth of routes that are at stake here, and that's why they're decapitating people, and that's why they're making it either lead you know, or silver. That's what it's all about. I want to be your next sheriff in McLean County. We're going, to make, we're going to continue to have McLean County as a safe place to live and be proud to live here. Thank you very much. I am the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to be Texas, one state under God.